Welcome to Craft Time. Today we are going to make a sign to help us remember how to do our Bible point. Jesus calls us to follow him. You will need a few either whole sheets or half sheets of colored paper and then one blue colored paper. Make it light enough so you can write on it. All the colors light enough so you can see writing on them. Um, you will need a pencil, a glue stick, a pair of scissors, and some colored pencils or a uh, markers that are skinny markers. So pause the video and go get those items now. All right, did you find all your items you needed? I sure hope so. Okay. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to use our colored papers, so two colors, maybe three at the most, and we are going to draw some fish on them. So I'm going to kind of try to do this so you can see how I draw my fish. So I draw my fish pretty easily. I just make a line down and then I make it look like that. Could you see that? Maybe I need to do it a little closer. But so you can draw your fish, draw the line down, and then start at the top and make a little loop de doo back to it. And they don't have to be perfect because we, when we cut them, we're actually going to cut around. So we're going to cut around the outside a little farther so that when we cut, we won't um, cut the tail off. So pause the video and make about, oh, six or seven of each color if you have two colors or like four if you have three colors. So pause the video and draw your fish now. <clears throat> okay, next we are going to cut our fish out. So on your paper you're going to have a lot more fish drawn. So. Let me draw some more fish here real fast. Um, I'll just draw four. So you got your fish drawn. Okay, and if you wanted fish going the other direction, you just had to draw them separate. So I'm going to show you how I cut this. So you see how I cut not close to the line? Not too far away from it, but not too close. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do around the whole thing. So I'm going to cut one completely out to show you. So I'm just kind of using my drawing of my fish as a, as a guide to what, where to turn, pretty much. So see how I cut my fish? It's not right on the line, it's around. So it's going to be bigger because we're going to cut that and then that will be the side that we glue to our piece of paper and this will be the side that will be seen. Okay, so pause the video and cut your fish so they have a little bit around the lines. <clears throat> Alright, next you're going to need your blue sheet of paper. And at the top of your blue sheet of paper, we're going to write, Jesus calls us to follow him. Luke 5. 1 through 11. So use either a marker or a colored pencil and write that at the top. Pause the video now to do that. Okay, so next we are going to Take our fish and the side that does not have the line on it, we are going to write down ways that we can follow Jesus. So here, let me show you an example. Like we could write, love others. And so see how my fish says love others now? So some other things that I wrote was pray for others, read my Bible, obey God, be humble, be kind, 
and have compassion. Those are just a few that I wrote down. You don't have to write the same ones I wrote. You can come up with your own list or even more. So pause the video and write on your fish, as many of your fish as you can, of ways you can follow Jesus. All right, now that you got your writing on your fish, you are now going to use your glue stick and glue your fish on. So see mine, I made my fish go in two different directions. So, and you see that I still have some that are blank because I didn't know what to put in them yet. So as I follow Jesus, I can add some to my fish to how I can follow Jesus is Jesus tells me what I should be doing. And so glue all your fish on, even if they don't have something set in them, so that you can fill it in as you go. And that will be our craft today. So finish your craft and come back for our closing prayer time. Today's lesson was full of great ways to do our Bible point. Jesus calls us to follow him. As we grow in our faith and beliefs about Jesus, it becomes easier for us to naturally do as Jesus does and love as Jesus loves. But it does take some work to get there. But I have full confidence in each one of you that you will do the hard work and become a great follower of Jesus. Let us pray before we end our lesson. <clears throat> Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for coming along with us today as we investigate ways to follow you. Lord, thank you for all the work you are going to do to help each of us do as you would wish us to do by following you, Lord, and be the best we possibly could be for your glory and praise. Lord, we say aloud we need your help to do this, for on our own we cannot do it. You are the light that will lead the way for each of us to shine bright for the purpose of showing others who you are and the love that you shower on each of us daily. Lord Jesus, let this time of <clears throat> separation from each other due to COVID and wildfire season, Lord, just bring us to love each other in a way that is pleasing to you, Lord. Help us to see where you want us to be of assistance and help and where our families can be assistance and help to other families that are struggling right now, Lord, and just let your glory and your light shine from each one of us as we go out in the world and show people how Jesus would love if he was here with us. Lord, we love you and we need you. Amen. And of course, Jesus is with us. We just can't see him right now because he left his spirit with each one of us followers. So I pray that his spirit will allow you or grow your desire to help others that are struggling right now and that your heart hurts for them too and you're praying for them. So <clears throat> I thank you for joining me today as we explored our Bible point. Jesus calls us to follow him. I hope you will each work on following Jesus every day of your life and look to Jesus for help for following him because we all need Jesus's help to follow him. He wants to help us be the best we possibly can and show others the love of Christ. See you next week.